Hello everyone, welcome back to another review with me, John. As you can see, I have a bowl in front of me, which typically means I'm going to have some ramen. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. Today's ramen is brought to you again by Samyang Foods of Korea. Now this is another uh, import only, um, I, uh, not import only, domestic only. I had to buy it from a Korean vendor on eBay. This uh, again is a Bulldog Bokumian, also known as the Fire Noodle Challenge Ramen. This variety only available in Korea is known as what's well, called the Taboki. Taboki. I'm not exactly sure what, how to pronounce it. The T at the beginning. It's supposed to sound somewhere between a T and a D. Taboki? Zaboki? Who knows? But anyway, what Taboki is, is typically these little rice noodles that are thick. They kind of look like tubes. And Samyang actually has real Taboki in the, both their fire noodle uh, original and their carbonara flavors. And they're like in little fresh pack bowls where you just microwave them and everything's already cooked, you just gotta heat them up. You have your typical fire noodle pack. This one looks like it's labeled as just the regular variety, but uh, who knows what heat level. It's not on the package. And then it comes with this little orange pack that's filled with what I would call little crunchies. And I'll get you. Here's one of the little crunchies. It's not as crunchy anymore now that it's been sitting in there. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of. I'm not sure if that's the taboki part of this I'm supposed to get. Or if they've changed the recipe of the regular noodles and made them out of rice, maybe, to more feel like the texture of a real tsuboki. But anyway, let's give this a taste. Samyang Foods Tiboki Bulldog Bokemion. I want to say these noodles are different. I want to say these noodles they're like gummier, springier, bouncier on their teeth than the normal noodles you get. The spice level in this, I would say, at most, is original uh, Bulldog spice, um, but probably not. It's probably in the 25 to 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000 level SHU. The heat is definitely there. Like, this is hotter than most varieties of ramen you're going to just pick up at any store. Unless that store happens to have Samyang Bulldog. The chicken flavor, just like all Bulldog Bohemians, is still there despite the spices. Mm. 
Now this isn't like a challenge video, so I'm not going to try to like get this down really fa fast because I'm going to finish it and it's way less spicy than the 10 times for sure. But uh, I think the biggest thing about these is the noodles themselves are different than what they typically put in the regular fine noodles. It's a little chewier, a little gummier. Which if you've had taboki before, that's essentially what it is. It's like little chewy tubes, almost like the texture of a, a firmer gummy worm or a gummy bear, but uh, savory, not sweet, and in this case, spicy. Uh, Tomoki usually is, comes with like a sweet and spicy sauce. Now, Bulldog sauce isn't really sweet, I would say, but definitely spicy. Um, if I had to rank this amongst the other flavors, it's probably not near my favorites just because the only difference is the noodle and if I wanted taboki I would just get real taboki uh, it's an interesting change up on the original um, I just, I'm just not uh, very impressed by it where, where it's different than normal um, I'm not really uh, interested in having this come to the United States as a regular option. Um, if you are a type of person that really likes to try out things, like me, that's probably the only way that I would recommend you try this. Otherwise, if you're just a normal ramen fan, who want to know the good ones out there and the interesting ones, this is one you can definitely skip, I think, in my opinion. You might want to check out some other opinions that are out there online, but for me, this is one that you can definitely skip. It's good, it's just not at all interesting or different than things that are already available. Anyway, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.